hey guys hope you find my previous videos useful where we have seen how to get started with the companion computer and the flight controller we have seen drone kit drone kit apis and some, uh, tested some python scripts on the actual vehicle we have also seen uh, some uh, open cv libraries arucos and tested or simulated our vehicle in sitl and gazebo simulator so now it's time to get started with uh, ROS, that is robot operating system and if you are a beginner or if you want to get started with drone programming then you can just check the links in the description for the drone dojo courses where you'll get 10 percent discount on every course and these uh, modules are properly and well designed for a beginner to get started so just check the links in the description so now we'll get started with ROS, that is Robot Operating Systems. And in this video, we are going to just see the basics on what is ROS, why we are using, and the drone that I'm going to uh, use for the development of this ROS projects. And in the future videos, we'll get uh, in details to every module, we'll write some course, we'll simulate them in Gazebo or our ways, and then we'll uh, check uh, the behavior on the actual vehicle and uh, so what is ROS? so ROS, as it says robot operating system but ROS is not an operating system it's just a framework that provides the functionalities of an operating system and the main uh, or the important thing uh, here in ROS is the reusability uh, which means that like if you are having a four wheel drive robot and you have developed the ROS system or the uh, ROS packages and uh, core to control this robot and then suddenly you change your plan uh, and you go on with a two-wheel drive robot but still you can use this same setup for this robot or if you are using a drone uh, uh, instead of this robot then also you can use this same setup for this so this means that the level of reusability in ROS is very high and uh, we'll uh, see what are nodes, topics, publishers, subscribers, what are packages, how to create the packages and uh, we'll see all these things in details and uh, just uh, we, I'll have here one more example like uh, if you are having uh, three nodes like A, B and C and A node is responsible to get all the sensor data, B node is responsible to uh, control the actuators or the uh, drivers of the motors or anything which gives the output to control the behavior of the robot and the node uh, C that is or we can say it as an intermediate node which is responsible uh, for the communication between the A and uh, B node so it gets the data from A and then it's, uh, it's like a processing unit and then it sends the data to node B accordingly so uh, you can say C node as a ROS master uh, just for now and all these things we'll see in more details as we'll get on uh, developing our ROS projects so now we'll uh, move towards the drone that I'm going to use for this uh, ROS project development uh, this is the drone that I'm going to use for development of this ROS projects and uh, I have designed and developed this drone using some carbon fiber sheets, tubes and some 3D printed parts. You can get all these uh, links to these parts in the description. And if you want to uh, build similar kind of drone then just uh, check uh, for the links. And the tubes that I have used here, these are the carbon fiber tubes with 16mm of external diameter. And uh, the carbon fiber sheet that I have used here is of 2mm. Uh, thickness if you're uh, planning uh, not to invest more in this drone then you can just get a ready-made uh, frame from the market and then just add a Pixoc flight controller and the companion computer so here we have Raspberry Pi uh, 3b model and then just get started by installing Ubuntu 18 uh, then ROS Melody and uh, once you get started you can just keep on adding sensors like uh, if you're having some indoor uh, uh, flights without the GPS and you want your drone to be uh, stable at a, a perfect position uh, altitude and a position then you can just add a Pixoc flow sensor and uh, get done that thing or if you want uh, to have path planning then you can just add a 360 lidar over here and then just uh, have some uh, slam navigation so uh, these are some of the basic things that you can do and just keep on upgrading, writing the code, simulating and then just testing it out on these real drones. 
and the main reason behind developing this small drone is that uh, you might have seen that I have used these uh, bigger drones to t test my python strips in the previous videos but when it comes to indoor autonomous navigation this could be a bad idea or it's a bad idea to go with this bigger drone uh, so I'm going to use this drone uh, to have uh, actual package delivery over more than 1 kilometer 1.5 to 2 kilometers uh, using uh, precision landing techniques and we'll see uh, uh, this thing in the future videos in the next videos we'll uh, get actually started with installing ubuntu 18 set up ROS environment like we can install ROS melodic and then get started we can know how to create a catkin workspace how to uh, create packages what are nodes how do they communicate we'll get into each and every basic thing about ROS and then keep on developing our ROS projects or you can say this ROS drone by adding sensors and just simulating them in gazebo or always and just uh, testing out on these real vehicles till then you can just uh, get a frame ready with a pixel flight controller and a companion computer